Over the last 15 years, the smartphone has gone from a useful, helpful item, something that most people carry around with them to make calls, text, eventually it got the internet, and now it has gone so far that some people see the phone you use as an actual status symbol. Yeah, you heard me correct. As crazy as that sounds, there are people who consider a phone, a phone, a status symbol. We're going to break down how you can stop this phone from spying on you, from tracking you, from recording you, from people hacking in and using your number one device against you. Let's go ahead and break that down into Operation Smartphone. Now it really doesn't matter if you have an iPhone like this one or you have an Android, any other phone you have, there's been cases that have won rampant about people being hacked. We've seen people break into webcams and be able to record. Also, the apps you use can potentially be used against you. If you don't update your phone in time, security patches, there are a host of ways hackers can break into your phone. Now watch to the end of this and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can stop this on the audio side. The two main vulnerabilities are audio and video, which is what they're after. The third vulnerability, of course, is your data, which we've covered in other videos here on this channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Put out new videos every single day on Privacy X at privacyxproject.com. But what we want to break down is how you can stop people from recording you on your phone, using your phone as a spy recording device. Now, there's a lot of ways people can do that. And we've seen in the iPhone this last year, they actually added a little green and a little orange button at the top of the phone in the most recent versions of iOS and the iPhones, which shows you if it is recording video or audio. So green for video and orange for audio, which is a cool little feature, but a lot of people have already said that that can be turned off and can be used against you. Also, if you don't notice that, it could be recording and it could be recording every single thing you do. Also, internal apps could be recording you as well. So there are so many vulnerabilities, you gotta get to it at the source. Now we've seen some Linux phones solve this problem by manually being able to turn hardware on and off. Some of the Linux laptops, some of the phones, we've seen mock-up phones for modular phones where you could modularly swap out components. There's a lot of companies trying to solve this problem, but unfortunately nothing has really caught the standard phone market like the iPhone or the Samsung, the Android, the flagship phones that most people buy, there's just not enough market share to be able to do that, which is a very unfortunate thing because you should have full control of your hardware. It is hardware that you purchase, and in most cases, I mean, this was like $1,500. Now, I don't see this as a status symbol, and that is not a bragging statement. It's just a fact of what these phones cost. Now, for me, I justify it because it's a business expense. You justify it, maybe it's a business expense, or maybe you just like to have the latest phone really doesn't matter. The fact is you paid your hard-earned money. Whether you paid $5 or $5,000, it really doesn't matter. It's your money, it's your device, and you should have control of it. Unfortunately, you don't. Now, obviously, there's other ways people can get into these things with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and there's tons of different tracking methods. So how can we break this down? Well, here's something you could use, which is the mic lock. A mic lock is a great option. You could check it out down below if you want to see how this works. It opens up really convenient little device. You take the device and you plug it into the iPhone headphone, the headphone jack, you, you, you put, there, there's, there's no headphone jack. So what you do is you take your dongle, you know, you got your little dongle, you plug that into the US, oh, it's not USB-C, because that would be too convenient. You plug it into the lightning port, then you take the mic jack and you plug this in and you could turn on an app. So if I do like the uh, audio memo app, let me pull this up here real quick. And when you pull up one of these apps, you can talk in it, voice memos, voice recording, any kind of app. And I'm talking, 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 and there's nothing recording, right? So I can talk and there's nothing recording. Now, if I unplug this, let me go ahead and unplug this real quick. And then we're gonna talk. Talking, talking, hey, how you doing guys today on today's video, right? And so you can see it's recording in the memo recorder. So what this does, and you can also do the same thing in your laptop. So my MacBook Pro here, I can plug this in. This does have the jack, which is kind of nice. Plug this in and it locks, locks this out. I use these all the time. They're actually inexpensive and it locks out the audio so the, the device can't record. So it takes away the hardware portion of the device recording. 
I think that's a great feature because what it allows you to do is have some more control. Now what a lot of people will do on their computer, similar to what I do, is I just take a piece of gaff tape, put it over the camera, right? You can get all kinds of fancy things, but I put a piece of gaff tape over the camera. What was that? Hello, how you doing? So I, <laughs> I take a piece of gaff tape, put it over the camera, and this, this allows me to cover my camera. I never use built-in cameras on any of my devices. Also, the iMac Pro, the MacBook Pro. Now on the phone, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna do a separate video how I handle the, the cameras on my phone, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's how I handle the audio recording, which I think in a lot of ways can be more incriminating. I don't typically have these things pointed at me. Now you might think, well, I don't have anything to hide. Right, but you don't want people recording everything you do. I mean, I'm talking business, I'm talking all these different things. And here's the problem, and the reason I use the word incriminating. I'm not doing anything illegal, but it's about context, right? And if things get taken out of context, they can be turned around and flipped and used against you. And you don't want everything you do in your life recorded, I can assure you, no matter what you do, because people can use that against you. And also you have, I mean, this is Privacy X. Like, I believe privacy is a right. And I know the government doesn't share my belief, but I really don't care. People like me fight for the right for privacy because it's a fact. Whether it's your spending power, whether it's monetary, we talk about crypto, we talk about hardware, technology, phones, computers, you know, all different devices. I share what I do to keep a level of privacy, security, and anonymity because I believe that's important. Because we live in a world where you're guilty till proven innocent, and we've seen this time and time again, and you don't want your devices that you pay a lot of money for used against you. I've had a few people say, oh, you know, Cody, you're bragging about your fancy devices in your video. No, I'm not. Most people have these devices. These devices cost thousands of dollars. My point isn't that I can afford all this stuff. I'm an entrepreneur, and that's what I do. My point is that we spend the money on this stuff. We're in a world where our computer, and now our cars, I mean, what do you spend on a car? Even a, a, a budget car is 20, 25, 30, 40,000, 50,000, and they've all got 70,000, 90,000, 200,000. They have all this stuff built in. So all these things we, we spend our money on are starting to own us. You know, and, and that's the problem is you don't have full control. It's one thing if you give it access, if you grant it access, if you know what you're getting into. But it's a whole different thing if people are just taking that liberty. You're shelling over thousands of dollars for computers and phones and cars, et cetera, et cetera, and they're just taking liberties, and you're basically paying for your own digital prison. You're paying for people to steal your data and use it against you and make money off you and exploit you and try to shift your thinking. Like it really is a psychological experiment on most people and it's very unfortunate that people won't wake up to the fact. They take your data, use it against you to try to get you to buy things, do things and manipulate your behavior. I'm not talking tinfoil hat and, and weird government things here. I'm just talking facts. It's a marketing fact. It's a big data fact. And that's why I'm such a proponent of these little things. Now, with an iPhone, it is unfortunate that you have this dongle, but when I'm driving, typically when I go somewhere, I'll plug this in, plug it in, the phone is locked. I've got camera covers, and then whenever I have my phone, I always put it under something. So the phone's never facing me. And I almost always transport my phones in either wise Faraday bags or other pouches or containers, both for containment of signal and containment of you know, audio and video. And I've done a video, I will link it, about Faraday bags and what I recommend because that's what I recommend. Is it a small inconvenience? Well, kind of. It would be nice if I could just take this phone and know that it's safe and secure. But it's not a fact. The fact is you can't. You just can't. It, it doesn't work that way. People can hack in, people can get in, and frankly, the way these are developed and, and, and built doesn't really have your best interest in mind. It has the best interest of the company, whether the company's Apple or Samsung or Lenovo or Microsoft or whoever it is, it has their best interest in mind, not yours. But the irony is you're the one shelling out the insane amount of money that this technology costs nowadays. I love technology as much as the next person, but it's very expensive. And you would think we would have control, but it's weird to me that consumers won't fight back. That's why I've been backing some of these Linux and other projects, because I like to see some of these you know, ideas where you, you should be able to flip a switch on your laptop and turn your camera on or off and your microphone on or off. And you should have hardware control built in. But no, you don't have anything. You just have to hope that the OS has your back, which we both know it doesn't. It's not open source, it's closed source. Now, I buy into it like the next guy because of convenience, right? As an entrepreneur, 
having things that are convenient is important. Having things that save time are important. But the flip side of that is taking full control of your hardware. So this is one of the steps. Do you take these kind of measures? Have you used Mic Lock? If you haven't, you can check it out down below. Inexpensive and a very valuable, in my opinion, valuable tool to help protect your privacy. Works great. I've tried it on tons of devices. I've talked to people who've used them for a while and have had great results. And it just does what it says. A very simple and effective device that blocks out the signal that you're looking for. Now, sometimes you have to go into the settings and make some tweaks in the settings in your computer. Keep that in mind. I've had to do that on my desktop, my iMac here. I've had to go in and tweak a couple settings to make sure that it actually locks out because sometimes they have multiple microphones and multiple in, in, inputs and, and uh, outputs. So keep that in mind. But that's my take on the little mic lock, this cool little inexpensive yet very effective and valuable little hardware tool. Again, it's a bummer that you got to have the dongle, but it is, but it is, I guess you don't, you can get a phone that actually has a jack, which is an option. And I'm sure these will come out with other jack types as well. Anyway, really appreciate you checking out this video. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, have an amazing day, go all in, in everything you do in your life. And I'll see you guys in the next video.